this. Uh -huh. Oh, there you are, Sue! Finally! Look what I came up with for our hospital! Great! Wait, did you stay up all night to make this drawing? Yes, yes, it doesn't matter. Let's get started! I like your attitude. First, let's prepare the perfect lawn as the base for our hospital. There you go. Uh-huh. Great! Now dump it all. Whoa, whoa! Careful! It's the most valuable cardboard straight from Tibidaba! So, how about heading to the store for textures for decoration? Luckily, I'm good in construction. But I'm perfect in decor! Ooh la la! So many choices! There are textures for every taste! Oh, that's a pickle! I don't even know what to choose! Maybe this one or this one? Too many choices! Stay up, Sammy! Don't worry, I'll help you! Oh, merci! It is all just so exciting! How do you like this for the floor? Just what we need! And I'm thinking these to decorate the walls and this one too! Um, we can start building the hospital! First, we need a garage! It's good that you thought of this right away! You don't say! Otherwise we would be left without ambulances! I couldn't let that happen! So, everything seems to be okay here. But here it needs to be adjusted a little. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. How many more innocent toys will suffer if we don't build a hospital? We must prevent this at all costs. I agree. Ouch. So, let's get back to crafting. We'll start with the shelves. To store various medical devices. I'll glue the texture on both sides and make the edges look neat. I am here and ready to work! Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking this hammer away from you, mister! Calm down, Sue! Everything's under control! I just decided to help you to speed up the process! Thanks! But I won't return the hammer to you! Or you'll hurt yourself again! Oh, come on, look! It's all over now, and I feel great! Till, you've already had a lot of trouble in this episode! Mm -hmm. Consider it a vacation from hammers! Oh, well, what should I do then? You could help me with the next craft! Mm -hmm. It should be less dangerous! <laughs> Oops! Sorry, it was an accident. But at least the clay is soft, right? Any hospital should always have the best medicines. So the doctors could easily and quickly cure all patients. This goes here. We will also sign it, so no one confused it with something else. What about the rest, Sam? All is ready. You can take it. I found just the perfect place for them. Voila! Doctor, finally you're here. My son, doctor, he refuses to eat broccoli. Hmm. Everything looks fine to me. Are you completely <laughs> sure that... Why, my son? It should have been me in his place. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll take a closer look at him. So, I need tools to examine a patient. You got it, Doc. Just give me a minute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Scope for the doctor. Check. Oh, thank you, nurse. Hmm. Now breathe. Don't breathe. Hmm. Everything is fine here, too. You know, I think that your son has a plain whimsy syndrome. What? Oh, no! How do we cure it? Dr. Sam has all you need in his portable first aid kit. It will be closed with a valve. Looks very cute. Let's add a handle for the most convenience. Here you go, Doc. Right about time. Thank you. And you? Please, would you just feed your son with something else? Wow, I didn't even think about that. Here's my professional opinion. Think less. Thanks, Doc. Bye. Well, if it's not broccoli, it's Brussels sprouts. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, it's not easy to help others. I'm even a little tired. By the way, did you write down their medical history? Yeah, look what a pile. I'll throw it right here. Wait, wait. This is a hospital. Everything needs to be kept in order here. Fine. We need to make special charts. Come on, join me, Sammy. Meh, forms. Okay, I'd do anything for the sake of the patients. Don't worry. It's fast and easy. Just repeat after me. I'm like this. You see? You are a great teacher, Sue. I did it in no time. Here. Now all the documents will be in one place. We also need a medicine cabinet with a door. Hey, but it's empty! The 
this won't work. I have an idea. Now I will show you an amazing trick that I learned at the School of Merlin. What a great trick! Oh, hello and welcome to the Dr. Sam's office. Come, sit. <gasps> uh, uh, so, we have no chairs. Here, I've made the seat and you do the rest. Will do. Comfortable and beautiful. You definitely forgot about the laptop. How else will I register my patients? Did you mean how would you play video games during breaks? <laughs> you figured me out. But doctors also need rest. Duly noted. <laughs> okay, the desk is ready. You can invite the patient. There, there. Please have a seat. The doctor will be right up. Sorry for the long wait. So, what did you come to me with today? Oh, I was just passing by. I'm fine. Whoa. So, you're not sick and you just came to go? Yeah, it's cool here. But it's like there's not enough decor. <laughs> Sue, don't you think our hospital is a bit boring? Let's decorate it. Sure. I think this is the best place for your doctor's diploma. We also need a bed for patients. We are a real hospital. I'll do the headboard and frame and you do the rest. Okay? Coming right up. I will do everything in a blink of an eye. What do you say about this design? A hospital bed needs legs with wheels. That's right, Sammy. It is very important. <laughs> I will make this mattress the most comfortable and softest. It's a perfect fit. And let's not forget about safety. Oh, I would like to sleep on such a pillow. And this is the place for the patient's chart. There should be a vitamin drip, just in case. And a screen for the patients to feel comfortable if they stay overnight. Here go the scales to know the exact weight. And a wheelchair, in case some of our patients need it. It is time to set the entrance to the hospital. You're right. And I made a bright pink door with a very beautiful handle. Check this out. <laughs> Let me just secure everything so that it doesn't fall. We need to indicate that the hospital is open and welcomes everyone who needs our help. Okay, Sam, just don't mix up the letters. H comes first, L comes last. Alrighty, I'm done. Hop. And hop, look how beautiful the windows are. I also want to plant these pretty flowers. Okay, I think we're done. This is interesting. We're wearing hospital scrubs. Can you guess what we're playing today? Of course. We're playing doctors who work in hospitals and make people who are unwell feel better. So what do we need to know? Doctors help to make you feel better if you are ill or injured. They sometimes need special tools to help them find out what's wrong. And when doctors want to find out what's wrong inside patients' bodies, they use a stethoscope to listen. Sometimes doctors give patients crutches to help them be steady on their feet. And doctors often use bandages to keep bones straight and strong. And do we need anything else? Sticky tape? I wonder what this is for? Well, I guess it'll come in handy. OK, we've got everything we need. Let's go! Let's play! Come on, let's play doctors! <laughs> so... This looks like the high street with shops and houses. But I need the hospital, so where is it? <gasps> ah, there's a man. Maybe he'll know. Excuse me. I... Can you tell me the way to the hospital, please? I... 
I said, can you tell me the way to the hospital, please? Hey! You're going to have to take your ear defenders off. Hold on. I'm going to have to take my ear defenders off. <laughs> what was that? I said, can you tell me the way to the hospital, please? All right, no need to shout. <laughs> hospital. Hospital. No. Oh, uh, OK. Uh, well, thanks, anyway. Well, I'll just have to find it by myself. What's that? I can hear a bleeping. Oh, it's this thing. Hmm, what is it? Is it a phone? Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Dr Rebecca. Oh, hello. I'm standing in the high street. Yes, I know. I'm standing right next to you. Oh, are you? Oh, uh, I thought... Uh... That is not a phone. That is a pager. Doctors carry them around in their pockets so that they can be sent messages. You cannot talk to it. You have to read the messages that have been sent to you. Look! Oh, yes, I've got a message. <gasps> Dear Dr Rebecca, I need to see you. Meet me in the high street, Dr Finlay. Oh, right. Uh, i got to meet this Dr Finlay. See you later. Wait, <coughs> that is me. I sent you the message. Oh, oh, right, I see. Oh, well, hello, Dr Finlay. Dr Rebecca, we need you to come to the hospital. There are lots of patients coming in today and they all need looking after. Now, you'll need... Oh, that is my pager. Oh, dear, emergency. I have to go and see a man about a horse. Oh. Yes, he has fallen off. Just banged his arm, but I better go and check him over. OK, I'll see you at the hospital. Taxi! OK, Doctor. Oh, hold on, I don't know where it is. Oh, dear. Looks like I'm going to have to find my way to the hospital by myself. Ah, I'll ask someone in this shop. Hello? Oh, hello. How can I help you? Well, I was wondering, could you tell me where the hospital is, please? The hospital, yes! <laughs> now, um, hmm. Uh, oh. No. Oh, uh, OK, never mind. Excuse me, are you a doctor? Oh, yes. Ah, well, I wonder if you could help me. You see, I've got this terrible pain. Oh, OK, yep. Let me see. Oh, hold on, my pager. Oh, it's from Dr Finlay. I've left my bag in the shop. Could you bring it, please? <laughs> Bag? Oh, yes, there it is. There you are, Doctor. Thanks very much. Ah, uh, Doctor, <laughs> the pain. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> OK, where does it hurt? Oh, well, you see, it hurts on the side. When I was leaning over the counter, oh, oh there it is again. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let me examine you. Open wide, please. Uh, Say ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Say e. E. Mm, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Hey. Oh, no, you can close your mouth now. It's fine. Oh, so, what do you think, Doctor? I think... I don't know what's wrong with you. <gasps> and I don't know what to do next, oh, either. Dear. That's not good. Oh, dear. What do I do? Oh, yes, I remember. Do you? When doctors want to know what's going on inside a patient's body, they use a stethoscope to listen. Right. We need a stethoscope. Um... But I don't have one. Um, Dr Finlay's bag, of course. <gasps> Will it hurt, Doctor? Hurt? No. I'm just going to put it on your body to see what I can hear. Oh. Right. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> huh? <gasps> ticking. Ticking? I can hear a ticking. Ticking. Right. Let me check in my book of medical problems. Ah, T. Trapped wind. Mm. Tummy ache. Ah, ticking. If you hear ticking inside a patient's body, check the patient's pocket. <gasps> my pocket? <gasps> oh, what's this? Ah, I forgot the alarm clock. I put it there this morning. <laughs> That's what's causing me the pain. The knobbly bit must have been pressing into my side. That's what makes me up in the morning. Oh, I bet it does. Oh, well, thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Most grateful. Oh, actually, could I borrow your alarm clock, please? What's this? Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Doctor. You're very welcome. Cheery, bye. Bye. Right, so where is it? 
Still trying to find the hospital. Half past nine. I can't see the hospital anywhere. Oh, what's that? Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. there's someone waving from inside that house. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think she wants me to go over. OK, coming! Hello? Upstairs, Doctor. Ah, hello, Doctor. Come in, come in. Hello. Hello, Doctor. My name is Bonnie. I see you passing in the street in your blue uniform, and I thought you might be able to help me. You see, I'm in some terrible pain. Oh, dear. Well, hello, Bonnie. I'm Dr. Rebecca. It's not usual to stop doctors in the street to cure people. But I'll see what I can do. Oh, well, sorry to stop you, but I thank you so much for coming upstairs. Not a problem. Now, where does it hurt? In the kitchen. Hey? No, where does it hurt on your body? Oh, uh... see, I thought you were asking me something else. Well, I hurt me knee. I hurt it with some custard. Fine. You can't hurt your knee with custard. You can if you slip on it. I slip on some custard in the kitchen and me bang me knee on the table. And now, you see, we're going to try if we walk. Oh, yes. Yeah. That doesn't look good. No, especially what with this dodgy knee. Mm. Can you help me, Doctor? Um, hmm, I don't know. Oh, dear. She really can't walk very far with a bad knee. What are we going to do? We need to find something that can help her walk. But what? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. Doctors give their patients crutches to help them be steady on their feet. We need to find some crutches. Hmm. But I don't have any crutches. Oh, I wonder. Ooh. Ah. This is a big bag. Fantastic. Here you go, Bonnie. This should help you be steady on your feet. Oh, uh, yes, thank you, Doctor. That is much better. Mm. Job done. Only thing is, though, what with there being only one crutch, I keep walking round in a circle. Oh, dear. Which is great fun, but... Not very useful. Mm -mm. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> Here you go. Here's another crutch to go with that crutch. Oh, yes, Doctor. This is wonderful. Thank you very much. <gasps> You're welcome. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, mind how you go. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Right, I just need to get to the hospital. You wouldn't happen to know where it is, would you? Huh? No, sorry. Oh, dear. No one seems to know where the hospital is. Oh, well. Thanks anyway, Bonnie. Take care. Bye-bye, Doctor. Thanks for stopping by. Nice blue uniform. Oh, thank you. And don't forget, you can stop by any time. I got two knees, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bye. Bye-bye now. Nice girl, nice girl. Still looking for that hospital? No. Full pie. <laughs> Tell me where the hospital is, please. The hospital? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Uh... Oh, I didn't think so. Never mind. Yes, I can. Hey? Oh, <laughs> that's great. Uh, where is it exactly? Right, yeah, you just um, you see the alleyway on the corner over there. Well, you go down there and then it's right at the lights. Uh, sorry, uh, where? Oh, just there. Oh, I can't see where you're pointing. Up uh, there. Oh, your arm keeps flopping over. Ah, oh, yes, I know. I think it's some kind of sickness. It keeps on happening. Look, there it goes again. This one's all right, though. Oh, no! That one's gone, too. I wonder what caused that. Um, what's your job? I'm a waiter. It's not going very well. And there's your dinner, so Oops, it's rubbed it again. I have to do a lot of sweeping up. I can imagine. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be much good as a waiter like this. And if you can't show me where the hospital is, I won't be able to help my patients. Well, maybe you can do something to try and fix it. Well, I can certainly try. Great! His arms keep flopping over, and we need to stop that from happening. But how? Oh, I remember to you. Doctors often use bandages to keep bones straight and strong. That's it! <laughs> Right.
right. And that should do the trick. Wow, that's great. This band is holding my bones firmly in place, both arms. I'm so pleased for you, uh, but I still don't know the way to the hospital. Hey? Oh, sorry, I was getting so excited. The hospital. Right, so it's down there, left at the lights, right at the tree and up the alleyway. OK, great. Thanks very much. Thank you, Doctor. Let's play. Ah, Dr. Rebecca, there you are. I've been petting you. Oh, I know. I got all your messages. It's just I couldn't find the hospital. Sorry I'm late. Well, you brought my bag. That is good. Ah, I'm in medical book. I'll put that on the bookcase. Great. Now, we've been getting lots of calls from people who needed our help. A man with a sharp pain in his side, a lady who hurt her knee, and some other fellow with a real problem with a floppy arm. Good news. All those patients, I've seen them. And they're all better. All of them. Well, I never. That is very good. Very good indeed. Oh, thank you. Oh, hold on. What is this? Excuse me. It looks like we might have a patient after all. Hello, Doctor. Oh, hello, Doctor. You found it then? Yes, eventually. Great. Well, if you can help me with something. <gasps> uh, hey. Oh, you've got a cold. Oh, well, I can fix that, all right. No, I've broken something. <gasps> is it your arm? No, no, no. You see, I was in the hole digging away, and all of a sudden I had a great big sneeze. I fell over on the sign, and I broke it. Oh. Can you fix it? Oh, dear. We're doctors. I don't think we mend signs. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. The sticky tape. Here, give me a sign. There you go. Good as new. I knew it would come in useful. Thank you, Dr. Rebecca. And I think I better give you something for your cold. Oh, yes, please, Doctor. Well, we did it. We helped all those patients and even this man with his sign. But we would never have done it without remembering everything we needed to know. Let's play. Doctors use stethoscopes to listen inside patients' bodies. They give them crutches to help them be steady on their feet. Oh, yes, Doctor, this is wonderful! And they often use bandages to keep bones straight and strong. Right. And that should do the trick. I think it's time we went home. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. to make oh it's my lunch oh i won't be long everyone <laughs> oh that was lovely <laughs> sorry about that everyone uh, but do you know what this has given me a great idea we can use this paper bag to make this it's a paper bag house. And we can make it in just one minute by using these arty things. Let's have a look. Of course, we've got a paper bag. We have a glue stick. We've got some tissue, some coloured card, a little sticker there, and a pen. Now, do you think it's possible to make this paper bag house in just one minute? No way! Oh, really? Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, we're going to bring in our bag and our tissue paper, and we stuff the tissue inside the bag like that. Now let's get our card, and we're going to fold it in half and then take a pen and draw on some curvy shapes like this. Now, this is going to be the roof on our paper bag house. <laughs> there we go, we've drawn that. Now, this purple bit of card will make a nice door. And I'm going to draw a cross on this blue card to make a window. Right, let's bring in a sticker now for a doorknob. There we go. And let's get some glue. Right, let's turn everything over and put on lots of glue. Some glue on there, a bit more glue here, a bit of glue on the window and some glue there for the roof. Right, let's stick everything on. Let's stick on the door. There we go. 
Let's stick on a window and, of course, a roof. And I've just built a paper bag house. <laughs> I built a house in just one minute. But if you've got more than a minute, you could try all sorts of ideas. How about trying a row of terraced cottages using different coloured bags? <laughs> or you could even try making this haunted cricket house made from a tall bag with spooky windows and a wonky chimney. Paper bag houses made in just one minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Stuff a paper bag with scrunched up tissue, draw tiles on another piece of card, then draw a window on the rectangle piece of card and draw a cross onto a square piece of card. Add a sticker for the door knob, glue the door, window and roof to the bag and your paper bag house is finished. Why don't you try and make it in just one minute? And thank you everyone for being part of another marvellous Minute Maid! Yeah! I made it! I made it! High fives, everyone! Great to see you! <laughs> what picture would you like to make today? Boat. A boat picture? That's a nice idea. Is it just one boat? No. How many? Five. Lots of boats. Nice. And where will the boats be? The sea. In the sea, that's right. Great ideas, everyone. Let's make it together. We are making the boats. <laughs> this is the mast. And these are the sails. I am a chef. And here's a lovely blue sky. Making this picture has just given me an idea. Why don't you make something too? Get ready to set sail. Try making a brilliant little tub boat. You will need a clean plastic tub, tissue paper and coloured paper, gloopy glue and a brush, scissors and a pencil, modelling clay and a drinking straw and stickers. First, take the plastic tub and cover it with gloopy glue and pieces of torn tissue paper. Then leave it to dry. For the sail, take a triangle of coloured paper and then use modelling clay and a pencil to make a hole at the top and bottom of the triangle. Then thread a straw through the holes. Now press modelling clay into the bottom of the boat and push your sail into it. Add stickers for portholes and a paper flag. Your tub boat is finished and ready to play with. What a nice idea. Why don't you try it? But right now, let's see how our big boat pitch is getting on. <laughs> That's it! We, we made it, it together! together! Yay! Ooh, it looks windy out there. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it, Scraps? <laughs> Ooh. Don't worry, it's only the maker phone. Oh, dear. Oh, it's Toki! It's Toki, Scraps! <laughs> Time to go! Time to go! Oh, thanks, Toki. I'll be home soon. Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the marvellous maker case back in its box! <laughs>